All right, what is up, video editors? On this video, I'm going to show you how to use Catalyst Browse to stabilize your Sony FX6 footage because you know that camera does not have a in-body stabilizer on the sensor itself. And even if you have a lens that has stabilizer, it's not really going to do anything. Um, so what Sony has done is created this free software that you can download from the description below. And um, after you install it, you're going to open the files, right? So all of the files that have this little settings icon over here is going to tell you all of the things that you can do uh, to a specific clip. Now, if you don't see that, it's because this doesn't work with slow-mo footage. So it has to be with standard frame rate. So either 2398 or 24 frames per second or 29 or 30, right? Um, let's just work on one of them. Let's just open this one over here. So what you want to do is select on the clip and then you want to click down here where it says adjust clips. Right, so this is the original, the one on the left, and then the one on the right is going to be the um, after analysis stabilized clip, right? Um, so then you have in and, in and outs over here that you can use. For example, um, when you click on the camera to record, obviously the camera is going to shake a little bit. So what I like to do is I want to crop that out, right? And if there's anything that the talent is not really talking, I would like to crop that out as well. And then towards the end, let's say he's done talking. When you click cut, you usually move the camera away. Right, so he's done talking right around here. So I wanna only analyze that, that section. That doesn't mean that when you export it, that's the only thing you're gonna export. You're gonna export the entire clip, but this is the only thing you want the software to analyze. So then you're going to go here on the side. If you don't see this, just click on I for info. And then you're going to click on auto. You can do manual as well if you want, but auto usually works pretty good. And then you're going to use stabilization. Everything else you can leave turned off. You click analyze. And boom, it analyzed it right away. There's not a lot of processing that you need to do like Premiere. That Premiere actually does frame by frame or After Effects of frame by frame because all it is doing this uh, Sony software is getting the gyroscope data that it's already embedded on the file, so it doesn't need to do any additional processing. So let's see the before and after, so you guys can see. Day one will be all about asset protection with four power pack sessions. Right. So as you can see, especially here at the beginning, there's a lot of shaking on this area. And then here is pretty good. Day one will be all about asset protection with four power pack sessions. So that's basically how you want to get out of a pinch if you're using the Sony FX6 and you don't have a gimbal, right? Uh, this is going to get you out of the pinch. And then all you want to do, if you want to export it, you do export over here. You select where you want to export it. And pretty much all these settings you want to leave as is. Uh, it doesn't give you that many options because it's the free version. If you had the paid version, unfortunately, that's a subscription model. Um, and then you click export and then you're good to go and use your footage on Premiere. Now, if you guys want more resources like this, I actually have a community uh, to try and help you guys up-level your video game. Uh, that's also as well in the description below. Um, so you guys can join and we can help each other. Uh, I'm also able to answer questions there. I'm more active there that, than I am on the YouTube. And yeah, bye for now.